As hunters race to the finish line of another season, Mother Nature steps in with a surprise that drives gators into hiding. Nothing? No, not the empty line. This changes the game big time. I'm worried we ain't gonna catch crap. Hunters scramble to take out these monsters before it's too late. Oh, that wind is picking up. Whether we're gonna make it or break it, we're about to find out. And some go to extremes to lure them back. How long have you had these things? It's gonna give a scent out that alligators are gonna come from miles and miles to come and see. It's a big alligator, Bubba. Take him up right now. Just a few weeks left in gator season, a north wind has brought a cold front to the bayou, dropping overnight temperatures into the 50s and driving gators into hiding. On the bank of the Atchafalaya River, King of the Swamp Troy Landry meets up with his team to go over their plan of attack. Oh, it's a little chilly this morning. Feel good. Feel good, huh? North wind, dude, look at that. I told you it was gonna cool off. For a change, it's nice. The only problem is with this nice cool weather, the gators aren't gonna bite. These reptiles have to have heat to digest their food, so they're gonna stop eating for a week or two. This changes the game big time. I didn't really think it was gonna cool off this much. I'm afraid we're gonna run lines for nothing today. I ain't got nothing to run, Adon. Nothing. What you mean you ain't got nothing to run? That's our line we're gonna run right there. Red, white, and blue. Oh, Lord. It's not good to pick up all your lines, Jacob, and depend on just sniping. You know that. We'll see what's what at the end of the day. We decided that we were just going to go out with the big guns. We're going to cruise and try to snipe gators with that cold air. They'll sit up on the bank a lot longer than normal, and a lot of times you can get opportunities at shooting them a lot better, you know, when it's cool like that. I um, don't agree with your strategy, but Y'all do what y'all can, and we're going to do what we can. You ready, Pee-wee? I'm ready. Good luck, boss. Y'all be careful. So try to be productive. We set a bunch of lines yesterday, but with this cool front this morning, I'm worried we ain't going to catch crap. That's it going down the tree? Yeah, right here in front of the tree. No. Nope. Nothing? No, nope, not the empty line. See how they chewed the bait, but they didn't swallow it? Yeah. It makes them not hungry. They'll chew on it, but they won't swallow it. It's just what I expected. We're not catching crap. I can see all the next lines are still hanging. So I'm thinking we might have to move further deep because that river, the water is always seven or eight degrees cooler than deep in the swamp. We got to hit the warm water. The gators are still a little bit hungry. We got to hit there and try to fill tags. They don't like that cool water. Twenty-eight miles to the northwest, in Lake Fossey Point. Joey Edgar and his deckhand, Zach Ketchum, are enjoying the cooler temperatures. But Joey knows his comfort comes with a price. I think that north wind took that humidity out there. Man, it just feels so good. Not good for the alligator bite, but good for the men. Any kind of cool weather during alligator season slows the bite down. And when that happens, sometimes you have to think outside the box. Zach, I got a surprise for you, Bubba. Look in the back of the boat under that tarp. That's what that smell was? Yes, yeah, sir. Dude. I brought crawfish sacks. We're going to put about 10 pounds in a sack, mash it real, real good, and we're going to hang it right here where we're going to hang this line. So you're trying to chum like we do for fish or sharks? Correct. Huh? OK. That's the chum bag. So I had the idea with this cold front moving in, maybe we'll use some of the bait that we use at St. Mary's Seafood. 
Fish is a natural prey item for alligators, especially if it stinks and start to rot. But once they smell the fish, they go bite on my chicken. Yo, <coughs> how long have you had these things rotten already? They're not, they're not that rotten. <coughs> oh. Put some more. I brought 100 pounds. Put some more. This is worse than anything I've ever used for bait. All right, how are we going to crush these things? You just walk on them, just mash them, step on, step on them. All right. Pogey fish is a really, really smelly bait. And once it starts to ferment some, it's going to give a scent out that alligators are going to come from miles and miles to come and see. We want to wake the swamp up. No, look at this. Yeah. Oh, it's worse when you squish them like that. Ooh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Not that bad. Zach is having a hard time bagging this fish because his stomach is turning, and he's getting a little bit queasy. But I guess in South Florida, they don't make them like they make them in South Louisiana. And what I'm going to do to get it started dripping, watch. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's a real chunk bag right there. Yeah. Hey, if it works, man, whatever, let's do it. But if it doesn't work, this is the last time I'm touching anything like that. That's, that's too much. Six miles southeast on the Atchafalaya River, Jacob and Don are looking to show Troy that sniping is the best way to hunt during this cold snap. All right, D, we're just gonna watch this left hand bank real good. Okay, this cool front coming through, they should be in the sun. Got it. I'm one of those that try to adapt to the curveball thrown at you, and this is our gamble whether we're gonna make it or break it, we're gonna about to find out. And when they go and run lines, so we'll see just how well lines are going to produce on a day like today to compare. Hold on, I'm going to run us up on the bank so it's steady. Perfect, perfect, perfect. See anything, D? I got one down there. See that willow tree? See overhanging? Yeah. Squeeze it on. You smoked him. All right, he's done. Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Oh, yeah. He's in a shallow area right there, too. It's perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Oh, look at leg just came up. He disappeared. Feel it? Got it? Got him. I got him. I got him. Uh, uh, yeah. That's a swamp donkey. Tell him watch that hook. Make sure we don't get yeah. in us. One, two, three. There we go. Uh, Good shot. Mr. Brewer. Damn. Jacob's gamble's already paying off with an 11-foot monster in the boat. Putting this big alligator in the boat right away has kind of got my hopes up, and I'm thinking that our way of hunting is probably going to pay off at the end of the day if we cover a lot of ground. I don't think that old cold front's going to stop me and you. Nope. I don't know if Dad is catching or not, but we're going to stack them up today. We slowly fill in the boat and fun, too. I ain't got to deal with that old funky chick. Ah, oh, chicken's rough, man. I've had all I want of it. <laughs> 80 miles southwest, in Pecan Island, Gator Queen Liz Choate and her stepson Destin have caught a few small gators. But Liz is worried that the north wind will push more gators into hiding. The north wind's confusing them right now. They think it's time to go down, but you still got a lot of a lot of heat to go through, Destin. We're just in September. Still got a lot of heat to go. But when you get that 
first little north wind come through is deceiving them. They think it's time to, to go down and bury. This time of the year, the alligators are normally feeding right now to go in for the winter time, go in their holes. And when that first north wind comes down, those alligators get skittish. These animals not, might not like this north wind, but I'm sure loving it. <laughs> Feels good. Sometimes you get lucky. They come out on the water and take the line, but sometimes they just complete lockjaw. Meaning lockjaw, they're not eating, they're not moving, they're not anything. They're just bedded down waiting. Where's this line at? Oh, we got something. Oh, definitely something. That string's pulling. We got one on this one. Whoa, there. You want to keep that string underneath that boat, because it will pull us out and pull you out. Oh, oh. and Burner. He's not happy. He's mad. Powerful animal. Woo. Careful. He can pop that line real easy. Woo. You got him, Miss Liz? In Pecan Island, Liz and Destin wrestle with an aggressive beast. Woo, careful. He can pop that line real easy. Woo. You got him, Miss Liz? Whoa, he is not happy. Dang. Get ready. Good gator. Oh, he's green. Look at that. The alligator's body is covered with green slime. That tells me they are bedded down in that marsh mud. So it looks like that's where the bigger gators are, definitely in the marsh. And since the gators are not coming to our house, so we have to bring it to their house. Maybe if that north wind backs off, it might start coming out. Meanwhile, 78 miles northeast, after the cold front drove their gators into hiding, Troy and Pickle have moved upriver in search of warmer water. We're further away from the main river, and the water's going to be a little warm. You can feel the difference. Oh, yeah. Feel, feel how much that. warmer this morning the water was milky and cool. Yeah. When you're close to the river, that's current. The water's flowing. It's a lot cooler. And when you get deep into the swamp, it's muck. Look right there. Look all the bubbles in the water. You see that? That's because the water's so hot back here. I bet you it's 10 or 12 degrees warmer than where we started this morning. It's a yep. lot hotter than it was. We're lucky. The bubbles in the water is the methane gas from the decaying plants and the vegetation, and it's a lot, lot warmer. And I really think, I really think this is where we're going to do good. All right, what we got here, Mr. Troy? Oh, I see a tight line. Huh? Looks a little wet. It's tight? Yeah, it's tight. Look Finally, at we caught an alligator. We're going to see. Uh-oh, what we got here? Ain't got nothing? I think we got something on here. What we got, Cinderella? What we got? Bring him up. While not a giant, the first gator proves that the king of the swamp's years of experience are invaluable. We ran 25 lines before we caught our first gator. So 
I think we own to something. I think this is where we need a fish while the school front is still here. And where we're we going further back, deep into the swamp, it's gonna be even a little bit warmer than here. All right, let's go. Meanwhile, four miles north, Jacob and Don started off hot, but cold winds picking up, driving the gators deeper into hiding. Oh, that wind that's picking up, that front moves through, partner. Man, that wind's getting up. As we're traveling along the big volume, it is very chilly, a lot chillier than what we ever had it during alligator season. But, you know, I'm the captain of my own boat, and I decided we wanted to go and snipe and see, you know, what kind of day we can have. Keep your eyes peeled. Look way up ahead on the right. Look with the binoculars right quick. Just want to look before I get close and it goes down. See it shining every once in a while? About 1 o'clock. There he is. Go, 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 go! Alright, D, grab your treble hook. Look, he just rolled over. Straight out from that lily. Look, you saw the bubbles? I got it. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Got him, I got him, I got him. He's either coming to the boat or he's smoked him on. Oh, yeah, look. Grab that other thing. Although they were able to bag this seven-footer, the cold wind seemed to have scared the gators off the bank. And Jacob's plan for the day is quickly falling apart. We're realizing just how cool it is, and I'm starting to second guess my thought process because we're not seeing any alligators. We got to change something and change our strategy for sure. Hopefully, we load the boat, but I ain't seen much. It don't look too promising. Twenty-six miles away, in Lake Fossey Point, having spent the morning hanging chum bags of smelly fish, Joey and Zach hope their cold weather strategy pays off. Let's see it, the old stink bait. Oh, it's gonna work. I believe it when I see an alligator on that. That's line. gonna work. We've never tried this before, but it's such a smelly bait. Uh, we use it to crab and crawfish, and uh, I'm curious to see what's gonna happen. Oh my God, he bit the sack. He's on the line. Oh, yeah, it's tight out there. Yeah, he's on the line. I told you the proof's in the pudding. You ready? Yeah. Uh-oh. He's heavy? Feels heavy. He's coming. Give me a shot. It's a big alligator, Bubba. Give me a shot. Let's kill this bad boy. Oh, where's he hooked at? Oh, yeah, no! In Lake Fossey Point, Joey and Zach are battling a juggernaut. Oh, that's a big one. Where's he hooked at? Oh, yeah, oh! Give me another one. That's a nice one. Give me that's a, a shot. nice one. Come on. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, come kill on. this alligator. Death roll. Death roll. Death roll. Take him out. Take him out. Take him out. Take him out right now. Nice shot. Good job. That's a oh, big that one. Oh, that fish. That fish. I guess it's working, huh? Yes. The proof's in the pudding. He's not a monster monster, but that's a big one. Ooh, right? This one has the worst breath of any alligator we ever caught. Mm -hmm. Oh, missed him. 
There we go. Ready? One, yeah. two. Ah. Got that big boy. Not a bad gator. Come on. He bit my sack. In other words, he went at the fish, and then he was hungry enough, he just hid the chicken. That was a great indicator that this is going to work and that we made the right move today. You're never too old to stop learning, huh? Yeah. Never too old. Wish I was too old to stop smelling, though. Whatever it takes. Come on. <laughs> 57 miles southwest, as Liz and Destin head into the marsh looking for shelter and gators, a storm moves in, adding another obstacle to their day. Ah, D.D., I can't see with all this drizzle. You have to take them off? Yeah, I, I, I can't do it. Just can't see. I'm just gonna have, you're gonna have to be my eyes today. The weather's just been crazy. A lot of wind, got rain coming in, so I don't know what's gonna happen. Those alligators are so skittish right now to begin with because of the north wind, and I got a good feeling we're gonna have a lot of trouble. Is that our pole? Yeah. That one, too. Look, he's on the bank. He looks like a nice one. Destin, he's going in. He's going in. That's, well, that's a, big... a big one. Going this way. That's a tight line right there, buddy boy. Let him go, babe. Hold on, buddy. He's pretty mad. He's all wrapped up around that tree. That's the problem. Just watch your hands. OK, let's get ready. Hold him tight, Desmond. Ready? Nice shot. Hold on. Got to reposition him. He's slippery. Oh. I'll roll him to the front or back. Front, front. Well. Yeah. Let him come this way. We needed something like that. That's a nice one. Hey. The change of strategy is paying off. We uh, catch a big alligator in the marsh, but in the back of my mind, it's constantly there. Are we going to catch more? Is it going to get worse? Hopefully, it gets better, but it's like a gambling game going on throughout the day. Even with this weather, they're still pretty hungry. Oh, I'm glad he came out to eat. To the southeast, back on the Atchafalaya River, Jacob and Don are having serious trouble finding gators to snipe. See anything, Jacob? Nothing at all. Not even a little one. They decide it's time to head back to the dock for reinforcements. You know, halfway through the day, we just not catching what we need to be catching by now. But I had a secret weapon in my back pocket. I had Chase there. You ready? Oh, we yeah. at? You already know that. Where are we going? We're going to take the spillway going this way. And then you take it this way. OK. I know Don and Jacob could use a little help. So here I am. I might be the deciding factor in kind of humbling my dad a little bit. It doesn't take long before Chase spots a gator swimming in open water. Oh, look, look. He's all right. Oh, oh. It's a monster. Look right here off the front. I think we're about to make us a move. I know. Hunting alone near the Atchafalaya River, Chase has a monster in his sights. I know. I got him. Is 
Dakota. Oh, yeah, that's him. That's him. I got him now. Ooh, big boy. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. A good shot. That's your ass now. Now I got you. It feels real good to know that I might play a part in my brother and Don kind of teaching my dad something, you know, about sniping. Changing it, maybe changing his mind, hopefully. Meanwhile, Jacob has given in to the pressure to beat his dad and has stopped off for some bait to hang lines. The Landry family has always been competitive. You know, it's, it's what drives us every day. So me and Don will go on the set lines back in the area where the water's real shallow, stays warm. So hopefully them gators are still active. I sure now don't want to come back in with less gators than old man, because we ain't never going to hear the end of uh, I hear you. I hear you. Back in Lake Fawcett Point, after some success running lines using chum bags full of the worst smelling fish you can imagine, Joey and Zach have hit a dry spell. Hoagie's not working anymore, Zach. You got to come up with something. It stops working because that, as the day goes on, the side with the sun that morning turns in the shade. So now we have to move the bait to the sunny side. Oh, don't bring that back in the bowl. Got to, son. Uh, please. Got to. On a fish to chicken scale, these oily fish are pretty, pretty bad. While I'm in the boat with them, I feel like the smell is getting stuck to every crevice and every part of my body. These fish are just terrible. I got an idea. Instead of hanging it in the tree, hanging it up like we did earlier, yeah. we're going to pour it on the ground right here. We're going to pour it on the ground right here, buddy. During a cold front situation, alligators, they will find a sunny bank and bask. They'll open their mouth and just try to warm up. And we figured that if we put some in a spot where a sunny bank where an alligator would come to bass and then hang a line close to it, that would just trigger his bite. We're going to put some bait right here, Zach, and we're going to try to pull them out. They're living in that back hole. This is a highway. This is a perfect spot to put it. Oh, my god. Like that. Ugh. Like that. And then we're going to put our line right there. We're going to get him. We're going to come for that. I don't know why anyone would, I don't know why anyone would want to come for that. You all right? Yeah, thank God that's out of the boat. Ah, uh, but that's what we want. What's I idea was a fish thing again? I think I like that person less now. Is that you? 28 miles away, Troy and Pickle are turning and burning through their lines. The decision to move to warmer waters has paid off. Now that we're deep, deep in the middle of the swamp, you feel the heat? Yeah, that water warmed up. Honey bubbles it, are coming up like that. It's just this air. The water's hot here. That's why we're starting to catch a lot better right here. There's no current and no oxygen in the water there. And, and it's a lot warmer. And I noticed as soon as we started getting deep in the swamp, we started catching pretty good. We got something here. Oh, yeah. There's bubbles all over the water. It's a good area back here. What we got? What we got? Ooh, it's a good one. Ooh, look at the size of that thing. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Bring them up, baby. Bring them up. Ooh. Feisty, huh? Oh, look, we'll go around the front. Ooh. Oh, they're so weak. Oh, they're aggressive, huh? Yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Deep in the swamp, Troy and Pickle wrangle a bucking beast. Ooh. Whoa, whoa, watch out. Huh? Be careful. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh. Whoa. Careful. Hurry, give me a shot. There you 
go. Ooh. I guess maybe level off the board. I think he's good. On the side. Should have been a whole plate, but he's all right. Mm. He did. Yeah, he did. He did. He should be all right. Ready? Two, three. Another eight footer brings the team's total to 12 gators. Even with the cold front, Troy's pleased with the haul, despite not knowing how Jacob and Don are doing. We caught good after we moved locations. And if Don and Jacob could snipe a few, it would help. But I don't think they're going to do much. Tuck you in real good. Take a good nap. Stay good now. Seventy-eight miles southwest. The storm has passed, and Liz hopes her plan to move to the marsh will pay off with more giants in the boat. This is one of those pretty cuts coming in and out of the marsh right here. This is prime territory for big gators. Well, when you alligator hunt, you have to make adjustments as you go, because you almost have to think like the alligator. You try to put those lines out where you think they're going to be, but then you have to move things around because, well, the alligators are not biting here. So a bunch of different strategies you have to do when you alligator hunt. You just have to try to outsmart them. See something, buddy. Is that its head right there? That's the first for me to see north wind blowing and it's still coming out. Normally, they lock jaw completely, but this is awesome. Good Lord is on our side today. Grabbing the gun instead of the hook pole. Oh, he took off back that way. Got the line or you want me to get it? Got it. Oh, oh yeah. Got a nice one. Oh. Big boy pissed off. Like he just took that line. Go ahead, get right on him. Good deer. Slime in that sucker. Tells you they've been sitting in the marsh. You see him on the line, that aggressive. Like, almost coming for you. That's, that's crazy. On a day where I thought it was going to be a complete bust, we wound up with an awesome catch. Not bad on a north wind blowing day. Not bad at all. But we had to go in their home to try to catch them, and it paid off. OK, I'm done. Let's go home. <laughs> 80 miles northeast. Chase continues his mission, helping Jacob and Don raise their gator count. Got it. Who oh, they is? Sniping this 10-footer convinces Chase his favorite hunting method reigns supreme. So I, I know my dad is, is running lines, OK? And that's, he, that's his Bible. He preaches the Bible about that. And uh, not to say that shooting them in open water or sniping them doesn't come with its, its fair share of uh, you know, difficulties or, or problems, but that's just part of the, the risk, you know? And with risk comes reward. It ain't easy, for sure, putting them big ones in the boat by yourself. High five. Meanwhile, 
After struggling to find gators to snipe, Jacob and Don turned to the tried and true running lines. Now they've come to the last line of the day. Got one. Got one? Dang. Look at here, look at here. Looks good, Don. Look where two of the branch clean off the tree up here. Oh, that's a good sign. Oh no, he's moving, he's moving. That's a he's good moving. sign. On the Atchafalaya River, ah! Jacob and Don have a swamp donkey on their final line of the day. I can sell, I can sell like that line. Ah! Take them old Oklahoma muscles, boy. Oh. Get it, Jacob. I'm trying. That's a big dadder. <laughs> One, two, three. Pull that head, it was. Damn! This thing's heavy, Jacob. We got an old nubby, nubby foot. We long, too. Big slimy sucker. <sighs> This 11-foot, 500-pound monster is the biggest catch of the day. But Jacob is not about to tell his old man that he gave in and ran lines. I just hope that we shoot more than what Dad actually caught, so we have a little bragging rights to ourselves. That's a good one there, buddy. You ate your Wheaties this morning? <laughs> 26 miles away, in Lake Fossey Point, Joey and Zach head back to see if their rotting fish bait has lured a monster out of hiding. Looks like something messed with the bait. Something came there. Hunting alligators, fishing, hunting. It's all trial and error. A lot of times we encounter situations that change and weather patterns that change, and they may change the bite or the catch. In this particular instance, with an early cold front, we just have to think outside the box and make something happen. One alligator for sure. Yeah. Look at all the tracks, though. Yeah. The tracks, raccoons, there's alligators all over the place. Yeah. It's working. We put like 50 pounds of fish down there. At least we're seeing a sign of activity. Correct. It doesn't take the boys long to spot a monster staying warm on the shore. Oh, my god. He's up on the bank, Bubba. Looks like he's tangled pretty hard. Yeah. You want me to get him? Yeah, go get him. I don't know how well he's hooked, though. Now, be careful, because they fast. You think he's alive? He's alive. Look at his eye. Get close to him. Watch Whoa. it, watch Whoa. it! Oh. Oh, he's oh. pissed. He's fixing to straighten that hook. Whoa. Watch him, Zach. He's fixing to pull the hook. Oh. oh. Shoot! Shoot! You got him, son. Why are they so aggressive out here, man? I don't know. Dude, he was after me. He didn't care. We got him with the pokey fish. Yeah. Unbelievable. It worked. It feels really good to know that our actions aren't in vain and that I'm just not throwing around rotten bait all over the place for no reason. 
It's a nice size gator, huh? It's a nice gator, buddy. Gator could have ate you up. Came for the bait. What a blessing. Right there. This big alligator ended up biting, and it's a really good feeling to get him in the boat and just to have a plan executed. Job well done. For years, we fish alligators and never thought about that. Yeah. Chumming, but that works. Hey, Bob, next time you ask me to do something, you just do me a favor? Yeah. Just don't ask me. <laughs> Back in Pierre Park, it's time to see whose style of cold weather hunting brought in the most gators. You know, as we get back to Duffy's, I knew we had a load of gators in the boat, and it was going to be hard to beat. And sure enough, Dad and Pickle pulls up, and there's a stack of alligators in the boat, and I'm just shaking my head like, there's no way they caught all them alligators on lines this morning, as cold as it was. Lines paid off after all. Damn, got a couple of good ones. Not too bad. We wasn't catching crap at first, and then we went deep, deep in the back where the water's hot, and then we caught good there. Yeah. All y'all did with the sniper. Not too bad. Don's gun hit the mark a few times. Jacob, he has quite a few alligators in his boat. It's, it impressed me. That's more than I expected him to have for sniping. But Chase is there, too. But between both of them, they still didn't outdo Pickles and I. We still caught more than them. That's not a bad deal for cool like it was between y'all and I was. Yep. All right, let's get him unload him. Yep, let's unload him. Got it. Oh. Ooh. For a cold front day, I figured we were going to be lucky to have four or five alligators this evening, and we got two boats full. So we did good. Did real good. It was a good day. 